Hi everyone, I am Astha and today I am going to talk a bit about the Walmart data scientist interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what the interviewers are looking for and a bunch of tips for each round. For context, the Walmart DS interview process can be very different for different kinds of openings and our goal is to get you ready for the most common situations that you will face, okay? So as a quick intro first. I am from Prepfully and this overview has been put together by Walmart data scientists who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. The very same ones who have helped hundreds of candidates with mock interviews and advice. So, this is a video version of our much more in-depth written guide which I've linked below. And you can always book time with the Walmart coaches directly for more personalized guidance on Prepfully's website. Okay then, moving on to the interview. As a part of the Walmart data scientist interview, the candidate will need to go through three primary rounds. The first, a recruiter phone screening. The second round will consist of multiple technical rounds and it depends on the role and the position that you are applying for. The final round will usually be an interview with a senior data scientist. The questions asked here will be a combination of technical as well as behavioral questions. So let's talk about step one first, the recruiter phone screening. Now the recruiter is trying to assess your high level fit to the job requirements. They're mostly going to ask non-technical questions such as those focusing on your background and your experience. Some candidates have also reported to us giving a culture fit interview after the initial phone screening. Now, the second interview is usually with a hiring manager or a senior manager and they go deeper into your alignment with Walmart's values. So expect to encounter a bunch of situational questions together. Now, here are some tips for getting through this round. Okay, make sure to brush up on your previous work experiences and have specific projects to discuss from for each role. Now, before the interview, take some time to organize your thoughts and reflect on your contributions, your successes and areas for improvement. Keep your answers short, concise and to the point. And this is very important because candidates have to keep in mind detailed answers can often make the interviewer lose interest. Have a solid reason for why you are interested in working at Walmart and why you believe that you would excel there. Be prepared for the common opening question of tell me more about yourself and have a brief introduction ready to go. Next then is step two. Now in the second round of interviews, you will face different technical interviews which vary based on the role and the position. Okay, so the four most common types of interviews at this stage will be first, a coding interview. Now this will consist of several multiple choice questions and will have a few coding questions which will test your programming skills in SQL, Python and R. Next is an ML interview. If you are applying for a specialized data scientist role such as an ML or a research scientist or alternatively a DS team embedded alongside an ML team, you will face an ML interview. You will be tested on basic ML algorithms, probability, statistics and potentially even ML systems design. Although the last is a little more common for ML engineers. Now, the third is a data set challenge. This will be a take home assessment where you will be given a data set and then you have to build a simple ML model. For example, build a simple ML model for the binary classification and examine the classifier performance. You will face several follow up questions on the pre processing techniques that you will have used. Fourth is a case study round. You will be given a case study to work on and there will be a subsequent follow up interview to dig into your approach and methodologies alongside an expectation to reproduce your results. We have three tips for these rounds. First, knowledge of machine learning and deep learning libraries like Skikit Learn, PyTorch, TensorFlow, NumPy is something we have seen some roles explicitly call out in their requirements. So, do take time and brush up on all these skills. Second, Having a strong background in statistical methods and modeling techniques such as support vector machines, random forest, Bayesian inference, graph models, natural language processing, computer vision and neural networks in addition to a solid understanding of optimization and operational research techniques can greatly benefit you. 
Last, make sure that you practice advanced SQL. You should know window functions, aggregation and nested joints. If that helps you get an idea of what to expect. Now, the third and the final step is a final interview round. You will be interviewed by a senior data scientist and they will cover both technical and behavioral questions to evaluate your qualifications along with how you align with the role and with the company. Now, technical questions may include topics such as statistics, probability and machine learning algorithms. Behavioral questions will dig into your motivations, your work style and how you fit into the team and the company culture. Now, apart from the stuff that I've already covered here, we also have three tips. Think in advance of where you've worked on optimization problems since you are very likely to face these questions in this domain. You should actually have all your past technical work on your fingertips and be able to talk through your approach, through your met methodology, impact and what you have learned from this experience. Now, from a technical point of view, make sure to review what the job needs and invest extra effort into practicing for it. Some roles call for R. ML heavy teams can expect ML system design. It can be really hard to get the hang of answering technical questions efficiently in a high stress interview environment. So we would recommend getting some real world practice with a coach to get into the mind space that is needed. There are a couple of Walmart data scientists on Prepfully who can help you with this. And finally, a tip for the behavioral interviews. Walmart explicitly calls out customer respect, excellence and integrity within its values. So you should think of examples where you've optimized relentless, relentlessly for a specific customer or demonstrated your ability to do the right thing and thereby showing your integrity. Good. Now that is all from us. And once you feel ready for some practice or just want a sense check of your preparation level, you can book an anonymous mock interview with a data scientist from Walmart on Prepfully. Now there's a link in the description given below. And in addition to that, I have linked to a bunch of useful resources in the description, most of which are free. There is a written guide. There are several interview questions. And if you have follow up questions about the interview process, please ask in the comments. And if you found this video useful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.